I will look at the final part of the questions. Find the area of each plate. Okay, the area of each plate. If the flocculator has three pedals and every pedal has four plates. Okay, the question asks you to find out the area of each plate. Okay, or basically one plate. It also says that the flocculation tank has three pedals. So you will have one pedal, two pedals, and three pedals. And each pedal has four plates. Okay, as you can see from my diagram here, each pedal has one, two, three, four plates. Okay, so they are equal. number. They have equal number of plates for each pedal. In order for you to get the area of plates, okay, AP, which... Um, Symbolized as AP, okay. You have to use this formula. So P is equal to CD AP VP cube times rho divided by two. As we know that CD is the drag coefficient, VP cube is the uh, speed of the pedals, and rho is the density of water. So AP is, as I mentioned before, the AP is the total area of plates. Okay, so AP actually the total area of plates. This is total area of plates. So we are not interested with the total area of plates actually because the question asks us to find out the area of, of a plate or the area of each plate, only one plate that you're interested. So if you use that equation just now, once you get the value for AP, yeah, do not forget that actually corresponds to all 12 plates. So you have to divide by 12 in order for us to get the area for one plate. Right. We're going to move on to the calculations. Right. So you have to use this formula. Okay. Power is equal to power. We have already calculated. H power is 485 watts okay and the cd was given in the question i think it was 1.8 the ap okay the area of that 12 plates something that we are interested to find out the vp is actually the speed of it is given i think it was 0 0.4 am i right so do you know that the speed uh the ap the vp is 0 0.4 right 0.4. And then the row is something that they have not told us. So why is the row? Thousand. Thousand. Okay. So I assume that everyone would say it's a thousand. But I have to say that is not quite correct. Okay. If you have your book over here, your notebook, you turn to the last page. Okay. Last page of the notes. There is a table. I've already uh, taken the photograph of that table. It's here. Okay, this is the table. Okay. But one thing that I would like to point out uh, is, yeah, look at the dynamic viscosity value. It's 0 0.798 times 10 to the power minus 3, right? So if you, I move... Yes. This, uh, if I move this uh, decimal point from here to here, it will become 7.98 times 10 to the power minus 4. Am I right? Okay. I'm making this a bigger number. So I change the decimal point from that position to this position. So it is coming 7.98. Okay. I make it bigger. So I have to make this number smaller. So 7.98 times 10 to the power minus 4. Is that then right? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. 7.9 times 10 to the minus 4 is more or less like 8 times 10 to the power minus 4. Okay. So 7.9 is more or less 8 times 10 to the power uh, 10 to the power minus 4. So if you look at that table, this is the dynamic viscosity 8 times 10 to the power minus 4. So you'll be able to see that the density is 996 rather than 1000 kilogram per meter cube. Okay, it's 996. So this is the density that you have to use. 
with that. Okay, so this is the density. You see? Yes. Okay, right? So instead of using that, I will use this number. So that becomes 1.8 times the AP times the speed to the power 3 times 996 as the row divided by 2. So you have to rearrange this to find out the AP or the total area of the plates. Okay? Remember, once you've got the, uh, the total area of the plates, you need to divide by? By 12. By 12. By 12. By 12 to obtain the area of one plate. So you do that for me, please. Okay, find out the total area first, and then find out the area of one plate. Uh, doctor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one question about the density. Yes. The table, is it given in the exam or... or what? <laughs> okay, or you have to memorize yourself. That's what you want to ask. Okay. Definitely, they are not expecting you to memorize, okay? So, if they don't give that table, obviously, any natural person, any normal people will assume bro is actually 1,000 meter, uh, 1,000 kilogram per meter cube, okay? If they don't give the table, then you have to assume that value. So, if they probably put the table somewhere at the appendix or anything like that, then you've got to follow that table, definitely. Thank you, doctor. All right. Okay, this value, this 2 has got to times with the 485, so you got something like 900 something, I suppose. And then you have to divide by this number, and divide by that number, and also this number. So has anyone got it? The AP first, we talk about the AP. 8.454. Okay, 8.454, I think yeah, it sounds to be, it seems to be all right. And then what about the A, uh, the, the area of one plate? 0 0.7, 0 0.45. Yeah, 0 0.7. It seems to be correct. Okay. So that is the AP, 8.45. And then the area of one plate is actually you have to divide this number by 12. So you get the answer to be 0 0.7. Doctor. Yeah. The area of each plate is for both sides of the plate or one side of the plate? Of the plate, oh, what do you mean by both sides? Oh, you mean top and bottom? You mean, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Basically, they assume this is as one plate. Okay, there is a question asking whether both sides of the uh, plate, so top and bottom of the plates, no, that's not what it means. Okay, it's just it means that this is one uh, area of one plate. Okay, consider both and top to be the same or to be one. Okay, thank you, doctor. all right, thank no problem. Okay, so I think that's all that I have to say about uh, mechanical flow plater. So I hope that you guys are okay with mechanical flow plater. Any other questions? No questions? No. Okay.